Number 11, what separation technique is used to separate alcohol from water during wine production? So here we can take advantage of the difference between the boiling point of the two substances. So since alcohol has a lower boiling point than water, we can heat the substance and uh, at a lower temperature than at that temperature the alcohol will uh, will first evaporate since again it has a lower boiling point and then then the water will remain in our container so that's the way we can uh, separate alcohol from water the process is distillation so the answer for 11 is letter c distillation number 12 what is the relationship between the number of sig figs in a measurement and its precision so for example we have 0.2 grams then the other device we are using gives as 0.2113 so what's the difference on this so this one is much more precise compared to this uh, instrument so here the more sig figs in our digit means our instrument or our measurement is more precise so again more sig figs means uh, indicates higher precision that is letter B again more sig figs indicates higher precision number 13 when performing calculations with measurements how should you handle significant figures for example 1.1 you add this one to a more precise instrument or to a more precise um, measurement for example 1.1 plus 2.000 so the answer would be 3.100 but again here our answer should reflect the least precise measurement so in this case uh, this answer will be reported as 3.1 so because we consider the precision of the least um, precise measurement so this one the answer is letter b it must retain as many sig figs as the least precise measurement Number 14, what is the result of multiplying 2.0 centimeters by 3.00 cm considering significant figures? So again, that's 2.0 times 3.000, sorry, 3.00. So if we solve this one in the calculator, the answer would be 6. For again, here we, sh we need to consider the number of sig figs. This is multiplication, and again, for the answer, our answer should have the same number of sig figs as the least precise um, measurement so on this case on the first measurement we have two sig figs then for the second measurement we have three sig figs again this should reflect the lowest number of sig figs so we have two sig figs here we should also have two sig figs in our final answer so the answer for this is letter a 6.0 centimeters note that the rule for multiplication division is different from addition and subtraction Number 15, if you double the amount of substance, how does it intensive property change? Again, intensive properties, they are not affected by the amount of the substance, so they are constant. So it will, uh, it will remain the same. Again, this is the opposite of extensive properties because extensive properties are the properties that is affected by the amount or the uh, size of the given substance. For, for example, we have mass, we have volume, we have uh, land something those are extensive properties again those changes depending on the amount of the substance number 16 if you add 5.6 plus 3.45 what is the sum considering significant figures so we have again 5.6 plus 3.45 that is uh, 8 point sorry that is 10 So we have here 5, then 10, so we have 9.05. So again, uh, this is for addition, then for the addition, we should consider the lowest number of decimal places. The first number has one decimal places, or decimal place. The second number has two decimal places. So again, here, our answer should be rounded to one decimal place because that's the lowest number of decimal place in the given. So the answer for number 16 is 9 point again this is 9.05 we take one decimal place that is 9.1 we we round this zero because the next number is 5 number seven, number 17 if an object has a mass of 50 grams and a volume of 10 cubic centimeters what is its density so 
It's very simple. Again, density is equal to mass over volume. The mass is equal to 50 grams. And then the volume is equal to 10 cubic centimeters. And 50 over 10, that is 5. That is 5 cubic centimeters. So the answer for 17 is letter A, 5 grams per cubic centimeters. Next, cubic centimeter. Next, number 18, what is the chemical name of the compound Fe3PO4 2? Is it A, B, C, or D? So here on letter B, we have the prefix. This is not correct because, again, the prefixes are only used for covalent compounds. Because this one, this one is ionic because merong metal on the something. Again, covalent, pagka non-metal to non-metals, then ionic, pagka merong metals, and then non-metal. So again, we don't use prefixes for ionic compounds. And also here, uh, this one is a phosphate, and this one is iron. But again, if you look on your table of elements, we have the lawang type of ions. I mean, iron rather. Iron ions. We either have Fe3 or 2, and we should first consider the charge on this compound. So in this case, again, we have Fe3, Fe3, PO42, PO42. Again, this number in the parentheses, this one is the charge of the iron. It's not this number over here. So again, let's determine the charge of the iron on this compound. So we have the charge of phosphate. For the phosphate, the charge of a phosphate is negative 3. Again, that is negative 3, negative 3. Then we have, sorry, this must be 2 over here. Again, the charge of one phosphate is negative 3. We have dalawa, that is negative 6. And again, our goal is to make this neutral. So, we also need positive 6 coming from the iron. We have tatlong iron. So, to get that positive 6, we need dalawa because, again, that is 2 times 3. That is positive 6. So, in this case, the charge of iron on this compound is positive 2. So, this one would be iron 2 phosphate. The answer is letter D. Number 19. A lab ref has a temperature of 48.0 Fahrenheit. A temperature sensor is tested 10 times, and these are the measurements. Let's describe the accuracy and precision. So, of course, for the accuracy, we need to get the average of all these measurements. And if you compute this one, the average is equal to 49.2 something. So, this measurement is far from the true value. So, this one is not accurate. And also here, these measurements are not precise because this is not consistent. Sometimes we have 55, sometimes we have 47. So the measurements are not close to each other. So this one is also not precise. So this is letter A, low, accru low accuracy and low precision. Number 20, what is the conventional symbol of an element with 20 protons, 18 electrons, and 20 neutrons? So again, we have 20 protons. It means we have an atomic number of 20. And what element has atomic number 20? That is calcium. We have calcium. And then for the mass number, again, the mass depends on the protons. Then the electrons, that is 20 plus 20, we have 40. And then for the charge, we have 20 protons. It means positive 20 plus negative 18 coming from the electrons. That would be positive 2. So the symbol for this is letter, letter B, that is uh, Atomic number 20, mass of 40, and a charge of positive 2.